So, but today we're gonna talk about the alchemist. As you can see on the left side of the screen, we're gonna ditch the intro today because it's quite unnecessary anyway. So we're gonna have that. And with that being said, hello, welcome back to the next episode of the Self Development with Tactics podcast. So if you do wanna have it as, you know, some kind of an audio book, then please check out the link in the description and you should get that. Um, if you're just viewing this video relatively late, I know, maybe in two years, in three years, or something like that, then please, 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 please just have a look at the date and then you're also probably gonna find it in that way a little bit easier because there's only two videos that are gonna be uploaded today and there might be just some other videos on The Alchemist. But of course, you can also search for The Alchemist per se. Um, yes, right. This is what we're gonna do today. Amazing. And my, yes, and my buttons aren't working. Um, anyway, so... So yeah, the alchemist was, um, I have seen, seen it pretty often. The problem that I've been having with the alchemist was that I always thought like it is, you know, such a mainstream book and, and stuff like that and not that good, but I think it is actually quite good. And it was recommended shout out to an amazing person. Um, yeah. So therefore we're just going to go through it. I've actually been, been also searching for another um, summary of it, but since I wasn't able to find something else, we are now just going to be on the net aliasen.com site. The link is as always going to be down in the description and also in the show notes if you're on the podcast. And we are going to have a look at it right now. It is rated 9 out of 10, so it is fairly high rated. Um, yes, high level thoughts. The wonderful thing about a story like The Alchemist is that it is packed with bits of wisdom you can believe from the story but also validate through research. Finding meaning in life, spinning bad situations to the positive, learning through action and downsides of fearing failure, perceptions shaping reality, appreciating what you have. There's a lot of things and those things that I've been reading just also because uh, just before the episode and before I started the episode was like, I like these things. I think these things are pretty important. I know maybe it's actually not that of a bad book. Maybe it is actually pretty good. I know. Um, by the way, check out The Why Cafe. It is an amazing book. I've loved it. You can just read it for free. Maybe I can... Ah, since I should be reading a tiny bit more of German because of my exam that I'm going to have, uh, maybe... I'm actually going to read this in German. I could. Because I think it is actually one of the only books that I kind of consider or would consider reading in German. Because, uh, you know, because it is a it is a story. If I would be reading some non-fiction book, then no. I think not. Because I most often really don't like the translation. Um, I feel like. And I really don't actually know because I... I haven't read books in two languages up to this point, but but most often it's like, hmm, I don't know. So maybe, I think I'm actually going to be able to find that on the archive. Um, maybe, I'm gonna, maybe I'm able to find it in English and then I have to just translate it or something, which wouldn't be that of a big deal, I guess, even though just a lot of work. Anyway, we're going to see. Summary notes. He owned a jacket, a book that he could trade for another and flock and a flock of sheep. But most important, he was able to he was able every day to live out his dream. If he were to tire of the Andalusian fields, he could sell his sheep and go to sea. By the time he had enough of the sea, he would already know or have known other cities, other women and other chances to be happy. I couldn't have found God in the seminary. Seminary, yes. He thought as he looked at the sunrise. Which is pretty optimal. I mean, if you're happy, this is just the biggest fucking deal in life. If you're unhappy, everything is fucked. If you're happy... Everything is pretty fucking good. Please think about that. Please really. It's the possibility of having a dream come true that makes life interesting, he thought, as he looked again at the position of the sun and hurried his pace. Again, it is about meaning in life. And this is something that I've personally seen as well. If there's something that you can strive for, if there is something that, that makes sense doing, whether it is actually, in my case, for example, learning for an exam or my A-levels that I'm going to have in just the next week, um, whether it is some business that you want to build, whether it is something else. I mean, whatever it might be, chasing a girl could also be that. Um, whatever it might be, it is such an important part of life. It is such an important thing to just have something that is meaningful in your life and that, that you want to go for. Because, because, of course, I mean, you can work a lot each and every day. But if there is no meaning behind that, if it is just some unnecessary work to just do because you're fucking bored, um, it's, it's not going to feel that good. It's not going to feel like um, you spend your time wisely. It's probably going to feel like just wasting as much time as you could in your entire life. So 
please find your purpose and find something to to go for. Don't just live your life uh, or don't just exist, but live your life. Which does not mean just smoking pot all fucking day long, by the way, and drink your fucking ass all full or something. Everyone seems to have a clear idea of how other people should lead their lives, but none about his or her own. Which I think is quite a common thing, isn't it? Like, just we, we often complain about other people. We often uh, gossip about other people doing some things that we would never do. But what we do is, like, completely the fucking same. Sometimes. But, I don't know, I think this is just human nature. Um, yeah. Just, uh, just us humans. Uh, it is what you have always wanted to accomplish. Everyone, when they are young, know what everyone when they are young knows what their personal legend is. I actually wanted to be a professional football player or soccer player. I'm sorry, not football, but soccer. Um, yeah, didn't turn out that well because of reasons. I think. Well, maybe I'm gonna go through it once. I think it's actually a pretty important story because of some some reasons. Anyway. And when you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. I don't know. But, but, but of course, you know, if it is just, if, if all you want to have is this one fucking thing, then, um, and you really work fucking hard, then possibility is actually pretty high. If it is something like, I don't know, that you just want to have because it is cool, then, hmm, hmm. When he was a child, that man wanted to travel too. But he decided first to buy his bakery and put some money aside. When he is an old man, he's going to spend a month in Africa. He never realized that people are capable at any time in their life of doing what they dream of. Absolutely. Just don't fucking wait. Doesn't make any sense. And also, just especially not for fucking retirement. Like, you know, I'm just gonna retire and then I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do in my life. No. Fucking bullshit. You know? Especially because, I mean, of course, we we get fucking old. Like, 100, 110. Um... And we're feeling pretty good when we're old. But still, uh, I don't know, spending 50 years of your life doing some shit that you don't even like doesn't feel right. And doesn't feel sensical. I'm like everyone else. Is it? No. It is not. Um, he, had to, he had to choose between something he had become accustomed to and something he wanted to have. I'm like everyone else. I see the world in terms of what I would like to see happen and not what actually does. Which, by the way, is about positivity there. Which, on the other hand, is like I don't know. Just uh, I don't being I don't like being realistic, but I just like being optimistic, but not delusional. In terms of like, I don't know. You can't see things that are not there unless you're on drugs, for example. But you know, there's it's a fine line, a really really thin and fine line. This was a strange place. It was a new one. Which is often the case, that once we do something that's new, it feels strange in the beginning, but after some time we kind of are comfortable with it, then it gets good, and then in the end it gets boring once again. As he mused about these things, he realized that he had to choose between thinking of himself as the poor victim of a thief and as an adventurer in quest of his treasure. I'm afraid that if my dream is realized that I'll have no reason to go on living, which I think is actually a pretty, pretty huge part. You know, unless I do really have to say, unless it is about people, because um, I mean, if, if you're chasing a certain person and you're finally able to just meet them and you're finally able to connect with them and you finally uh, just get to know them really well and they just also seem to really like you and there is just uh, some relationship going on, then um, there is no chase anymore, which is, I think, a pretty huge and, and interesting part. But you're going to have, hopefully, a beautiful relationship with an, an amazing person. And you're just probably going to have pretty amazing times with this person. Especially in the first few months. They're going to be fucking amazing. Um, they're going to be just super interesting. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be uh, whatever. It's just going to be amazing. Um, of course, after some time, you might not be valuing this relationship as much as you did in the, in the first place. But still... Um, you're probably going to be uh, pretty grateful for that. You know, I don't want to say that. I mean, um, I broke up with my girlfriend of three years, quite, not not really, but quite, um, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, something like that. And I really have to say, like, in the end, it was like, hmm, uh, I, I was still grateful. Like, I, I don't want to be like, oh, you know, it's been so shit or some fuck like that. I don't give a shit. Um, but... Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. 
it's it of it, it, it is of course different but but on the other hand once uh, there is no relationship anymore you just really notice how good it was and how amazing it was for example on one hand on the other hand um you're probably also going to feel like well, well it is uh, interesting to be alone again also not that of a bad thing by the way which i guess is something that a lot of people are kind of feared of yeah anyway i'm afraid that that if my dream is oh Yet the boy felt that there was another way to regard his situation. He was actually two hours closer to his treasure. The fact that the two hours had stretched into an entire year didn't matter. The closer one gets to realizing his personal legend, the more the personal legend becomes his true reason for being, thought the boy. Now I'm beginning what I could have started 10 years ago, but I'm happy at least that I didn't wait 20 years. Which is just the case. Like there's so many things that we could be uh, unhappy about. There's so many things that we could be uh, that we could complain about. But the thing is, in the end, um, just see the good. Just see the positive. There's so many positive things in life. Um, I don't know. I I could feel bad because of a hundred million things that I have been wasting time. But I don't know. I'm glad that I'm not wasting any time now and that I've decided to just do some shit. And, and all sorts of things, like you can shift your thinking into very positive ways. Of course, you shouldn't lull yourself into some bullshit, you know, uh, and just make yourself believe that everything is good and what you do and it's, it's nice and amazing and shit like that, because it is not. You know, not everything that you do is just fucking amazing. We also have to be honest to ourselves and see that, I don't know, some shit that we do is just bullshit and sometimes it's just something pretty good that we're doing. Don't say anything, Fatima or Fatima interrupted. One is laughed because one is laughed and no reason is needed for loving. There's only one way to learn, the alchemist answered. It is through action. Everything you need to know you have learned through your journey. You don't even have to understand the desert. All you have to do is contemplate a simple grain of sand and you will see it in all the marvels of creation. Most people see the world as a threatening place and because they do, the world turns out indeed to be a threatening place. But if you don't see it, then it's not going to be a threatening place. There's only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, the fear of failure. And the last one is, uh, that's what alchemists do. They show that when we strive to become better than we are, everything around us becomes better too. And I really try to be better. Um, Also, especially like after breakup, I really have to say like I do want to change myself in a way of being better, being nicer, being a just an overall greater human being. And, and I have been actually doing quite fine so far. I really have to say. But just actually, I'm actually having it open there. Um, yes, there is my email. Send me an email if you want to. You can anyway. You can find it everywhere. Um, yeah. Choose a screen name. You can also just add me on Internet Archive. But what I wanted to show you is that if we are here, we can't just go to books. Um, Then there is just all sorts of collections and things. Might be a little bit bad for you, but you can also search for example, The Alchemist. The Alchemist. Then you're going to get a few results. And maybe one of them is actually going to be the whole book. We're going to see. The Alchemist. Um... That actually is as a community text. Is it actually um, ebooks and texts? Yes, it is indeed ebooks because what I want to show you, yeah, there it is, something like that. Because you can actually borrow books there for 14 days, as far as I can remember. And um, because I've also read the uh, Y Cafe via this amazing service. And as you can see, um, everything is uh, nicely done and you can read everything really fucking nicely. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. I really appreciate it. I mean, uh, you, I think, need to have some software to... Uh, oh, I should log in there. Um, but I think you need some print disability. Get access now. Can you also listen to it? Hum. 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 <laughs> what about audiobooks, by the way? Just because we are we're already there. So uh, you need some Adobe uh, ADE, which is, I think, Adobe Digital Edition, as far as I remember. Yes. I think it is. And then you can access the book uh, most often. So at least this is the case how, uh, or this was the case with the Y Cafe. Um, Yeah. All audio. Let's see. 
Let's see what we can find there. Maybe there's also going to be the alchemist. No? Can you please? Thank you. We are going to see. Audiobooks and poetry. So I think there should be. And that actually also is the alchemist. The alchemist. The alchemist. Um, I don't know if it is good quality. I don't know if it is just read by somebody. Um, or if it is well done. Uh, there's also some comments. I do hope that nothing starts to play right ahead. No, it does not. Um, you're probably also going to be able to find it on, on YouTube or something. Apple Useless Audio. You can actually also download it. Premium is not only streaming, so you could... Is it 8 minutes or is it 8 hours? I feel like that it is uh, 8 minutes. What is this? No, I just don't... Uh, I don't want to have a preamp there. But... It was very nice book. Awesome. Um, so it, it, it seems to be working. I don't know. There it as well is as a book form. I don't know. Just give it a shot and you're maybe going to be able to find some books that you really want to read. Uh, I think it's just amazing that you can borrow them. Um, of course, you could be like, okay, screenshotting every single site and then you practically have it. But but I don't know. What's the sense of it? I think you can... I don't know if you can just re, um, re-borrow it. Or some shit. Uh, I don't really think so because what? what's the sense? You know, what's the point of doing that? Uh, there's actually also videos that you could be using for your videos. There's just all sorts of things. Uh, I think it is an amazing thing. And I really appreciate that. That there is just such a lot of... Um, yeah. Maybe even movies. Probably as well. Uh, articles and websites. So it is actually... Um, an archive of websites as well, which which can be a pretty important thing um, to some degree for some websites where you thought like there was something back in the days and then you are not able to find it any longer and stuff like that. Like there's going to be multiple different occasions where it is an amazing thing when you're having just the ability to go back in time and see things in a different light. Also, there's NASA pictures or images, the New York Public Library. I've actually, I do remember, um, I actually wanted to have a, a card there, um, but it seems to be only really old books. So I wonder, um, what is a pretty new book? Pretty new book. What about education? Um, it's, it, it just is meant to be a pretty good book. Uh, vocational education. No, um, let's search the whole one education by i don't unfortunately know the author 2010 education maybe it is actually this education education uh it is more it is not a text could i book well you know let's go for texts then if i can't go for book i wonder i i don't assume that there is but it would just be really cool i mean of course you can also like, I wouldn't also have anything against, like, I don't know, 10 cents of a fee or some shit. Or really some real fees. Um, but I don't know. Like, I don't know why borrowing is not a thing. Like, especially because I thought, well, you could just um, really steal then all the data and stuff like that. But in the end, it is, if you uh, borrow a real physical book, then you could as well. You could just, first of all, keep it, uh, which you should be doing. Don't do that. Um, but but you could also copy every single fucking page. I mean, it is a lot of fucking work. You know, probably not as much work as just kind of copying the whole file. But I do want to look up the um, education book. I hope that I'm going to... Uh, is it called education? I don't know. But I think it is 2018? Education book 2019. Uh... I only know that Bill Gates reviewed it. Maybe books are loved. Of course, educated. I'm sorry. Educated by Tara Westover. Educated by Tara Westover. I don't know. It would kind of just be amazing if, if I could just borrow it. Like, as I said, I just... Uh, yeah, of course, you know, there's going to be a lot of free stuff there is an audio for free but i would like to there's no texts hmm. <laughs> so i don't know why uh, why we're not able to just borrow books 
um, that the, may, maybe there's just some license issues. Maybe it's just like, I don't know, you can't just uh, borrow files um, because you can't make them go just extinct after a certain amount of time or something like that. Maybe there's there's a problem with that. There is no software to that, but but I don't know. It would just be amazing if if we would be able to to do that because because I don't know, especially if it is like. Yeah, you know, as I said, I think I just also don't have anything against a small little fee, like just a buck or two bucks, something like that. Um, but but I don't know. Like, I, of course, I can also understand why just uh, people don't do it as well. Yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, I think just because it is already 20 minutes and I think I'm going to end the episode there. Uh, I've actually wanted to do some. What did I do today? Oh, right. The Alchemist. Uh, anyway. I wish you the best health, happiness, and also success, and also hope that you're going to remind yourself and you're going to be remembered, which basically means your legacy, and basi- basically means just being remembered as a nice person. Three other questions that I have you are, why are you here, what are you trying to change, and what is bothering you the most? These three questions are hopefully going to show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea, which would be kind of the optimal thing that can be happening. On the other hand, what could you do, what could you say, what could you make? that you know is really going to make somebody else's life and or day or and or week just better. What could you do? Anyway, uh, I wish you the best. I'm hopefully going to see you very soon. And then please stay healthy and please stay cool. I would just appreciate that. And it would make me pretty happy. But yeah, anyway, going to end the episode there. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>